we have spent an enormous amount of time trying to prove to the court what everybody already knows, that intelligent design is a particular religious belief. Regardless what side of the debate you're on, if you support intelligent design, you do so because you want to promote your view of God as the creator. If you oppose intelligent design, you do so because you don't want some teacher instructing or influencing your child's religious upbringing. Either way, everybody understood that intelligent design was a religious proposition, and we are absolutely thrilled that Judge Jones has seen through the smoke and mirrors used by design proponents and has ruled that intelligent design is not science but is, in fact, a particular religious view. Confusing religion and science does injury to both. Telling students intelligent design is science confuses them about how science works and undermines evolution, which is one of the pillars of modern biology. At a time when this country is lagging behind other nations in scientific literacy, we can ill afford to shackle our children's minds with 15th century pseudoscience. And the name-calling tension and strife that we witnessed in Dover is as disturbing as it is predictable. People sitting in this room who were in that courtroom will recall plaintiff Julie Smith talking about how her daughter came home from school and said, Mom, how can, you say, how can you say that you call yourself a Christian when you believe in evolution? Or Christy Ream, or, or I'm sorry, Christy Ream's husband, Brian Ream, who is a Bible school teacher, being called an atheist bleep because he opposed the policy. Or Casey Brown, a former school board member who resigned and talked about how her faith was called into, into question, that she was not the right kind of Christian for having opposed the intelligent design policy. Exhibit A, Dover is Exhibit A for what happens when government injects itself into religious beliefs. The genius of our founding fathers was that religious liberty exists not only when government protects the freedom of religion, but government must protect freedom from religion. Millions of pious people of various faiths live in this country and have done so in relative peace and harmony for two centuries. Just look around what's going on in the world. We do not have that kind of religious harmony in other parts of the world. And the reason is that we have this genius in this country where religion is protected by the Constitution. Two final, um, one final comment. Today's decision is an important step in restoring religious harmony in Dover. We sincerely hope that other school districts who may have been thinking about introducing intelligent design will pause. They will read Judge Jones' erudite opinion. They will talk to the major scientific associations in this country, all of whom have rejected intelligent design as science, and they will look at what happened in the Dover community during this battle, pitting neighbor against neighbor, teacher against school board member, etc. cetera. 